stitchy friends, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel Little Lion Stitchery where we talk about cross stitch. So I hope you all had a lovely 4th of July. Um, yeah, uh, Michael and I just had kind of like an easy weekend. We didn't, uh, we did actually get invited to a party but I don't know, we just wanted to chill and did our own thing. Of course, full of skating and hopefully today playing some video games. <laughs> So let's see, what do I have for this week? I have a finish. I finished it. What do you guys think? Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the black eyes, just because you see them. I don't know. They're just very in your face because nothing else is black, obviously, on, on the whole thing. So I might change it to the spot. I know I said I might do the spot color. I don't know, Mike said to do it in black, but we'll see what he thinks when he gets back from doing things. Yeah, there, it's just very, uh, you know, in your face. Are you not going to focus today, camera? Of course. Always fighting with the focus on my camera. But look, it looks so cute, and I think it looks really cute with the light yellow. Very, I don't know, just spring-summer kind of color scheme. And I will have the conversion listed down below and on my Instagram at Little Lion Stitchery if anybody is interested. Um, yeah, and I already know what frame I want to frame this in. Um, I actually went to Michael's yesterday to get the frame, but I hate to do this thing and I, I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but if you order online for pickup, it's 50% off a frame. If you go to the store and pick it up, it's buy one, get one. Yeah. So, but I don't want two frames. I just want the one frame. So I have to order it online and then pick it up in the store. But yesterday, Mike and I decided we wanted to go for a walk. So we, it's very, very close to where we live. So, um, little side note tangent here. Um, where Mike's brother lives in Houston, they live right next to a shopping center, but literally they would never need to drive a car pretty much ever because that shopping center has literally every store I would ever need. It had a Joann's and then a little bit across the way it had a Michael's, it had a Home Goods, it had Marshall's, it had, or maybe it was TJ Maxx, one of them, whatever. Um, Maybe both of them. I, I do not know. It was just insane. It had an urgent care. I think it had like an eye doctor. It just had like, it had a food store, um, which is where we got walked to get groceries a few times. But literally everything you could ever need was in walking distance. Our shopping center, as much as I love it because it has Michael's, um, that's pretty much all I would go there uh like walk there to go to um they just have a lot of other thing other um like shops that aren't necessary just just i don't know it was just pretty amazing when we went there uh to walk to the shopping center to get food and they literally had everything and anything you could ever want anyway enough about that so if we need to get to the house we like walk down and of course Michael wanted some kombucha, so we had to walk to the store anyway. But then we went into the Joann's to take a look. I think, and that was it. Because sometimes, I don't know, window shopping, like, isn't fun for me, and I don't necessarily always want to spend money. I don't know. I'm just not that kind of girl. <laughs> anyway, so I finished, oh, sorry, I didn't even mention, I'm, like, a mess. Okay, like always, obviously. Um, so this, <laughs> my whales... <laughs> Are, it's O Whale by Hands On Design. And like I mentioned, I changed all the called for colors. I believe she uses classic color works in her pattern. And they're nothing close to these colors. I completely changed them. And these are DMC. And like I said, I will list that. And then the blue background, I dyed myself. It's, I think it was an even mix, or maybe it's. That might not be true. Um, it might be one to three. Um, one of navy and then three of the denim blue. Maybe I did do half and half in this. I don't know. It's denim blue and it's uh, navy. 
And then a lot of a lot of it must have washed out because it's a very faded kind of color, which um, sometimes I feel like this middle well doesn't pop. It's popping right now in like daylight and on camera, but I feel like sometimes it doesn't pop. I know I've talked about this before in my videos, but yeah, I don't know. But that's the color um, kind of frame that I'm thinking about getting. So yeah. And I have a new start. I know, it's not such mania. What am I doing with a new start? But, like I said, I think I mentioned uh, in last week's video, Mike's friend is having a baby girl, so I get to make a new Letters from Nora. And they're thinking about naming the, ba the baby Haley. So, this is the letter H, and I'm... Once again, changing all of the colors. Uh, so the letters from Nora are done in classic color works. Uh, so the, the leaves, and I believe it's brown here too maybe, are all the, I looked up on a converter, the colors. So those are, you know, close, a close conversion from the classic color works. Colors, come on, zoom. We're doing so well, and now you're all dumb with the focusing. All right, whatever. So those are our close colors to the classic color works colors. <laughs> um, but then the H and the actual colors of the fairy, I am changing. Uh, this is the original. Yeah, so this is the color smoke, so it's gray, and then her dress is yellow. And uh, I just couldn't have that because um, I was talking to Mike's friend, and he was saying that his wife is just very, like very. They're both they have a boy right now, and they're both very excited to have a girl. And um, I was asking like about their nursery, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not doing that. This is our second child." <laughs> um, so well, he said something else, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but his wife is like, like, like very girly girl. So I was like, oh, so pinks and purples and pixie dust kind of thing. And he was like, yeah, perfect. And I'm like, okay. So the dress is going to be pink and obviously the H is going to be purple. And I'm stitching. <clears throat> so in a few videos back, I had mentioned that I got some 32 count navy like even weave from a, a seller on Etsy. And I was wondering about the quality of the fabric. So I ordered the olive because I didn't want to do it on the watercolor linen. And I figured this would be close enough. It is a little bit darker, but I, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So I think it's kind of comparable, but um, a little note on the quality. So I'm actually not the biggest fan of the quality. It's very soft. If you like stitching with very soft fabrics, it's very soft. Um, my issue is, oh, so I also did a little uh, swatch. So if you don't know, so if you've, or if you've never converted colors before, um, I made a little swatch on the corner here. I don't know. There we go. Come on. Focus. There we go. Of the colors. So that's a way to do it, and then you could also do just do a floss toss, but I, I just did it this way. Anyway, um, but I have to, so I'm not, or at least I don't think, I'm like a particularly uh, tight stitcher, but with this fabric, because the um, weave is so loose, and um, just very, it's just very soft, um, I guess delicate, I don't know, I came up with a better word the other day to describe it. But it's just, it's very delicate fabric. So you, you have to make sure that you don't pull too tightly. Uh, otherwise you will get really big uh, gaps in your fabric. Um, so also why I did the swatches is because I want to make sure that the fabric count was square. Although with this, it's not that imperative that it be perfectly square just because it's not a... I mean, this is going to be a circle, like this, this vine here is pretty much a circle, but I don't think it's like a perfect circle. So if it's a little bit off, it doesn't matter. Um, there are some patterns that they need to be, if, either if 
they are like supposed to be square or a perfect circle and they look a little oblong I mean it makes it harder to frame number one and number two like you'll know it'll just look kind of off if that makes sense so this one um, for the most part it was square I think it was like half of a millimeter taller um, so that's usually the way I stitch if anything I'm gonna make it look taller not necessarily wider just my preference um, but yeah so it's like half a millimeter I don't know um, throughout the fabric I imagine that would increase a little bit but like I said it, not, I'm not too worried about it we'll see when I'm finished how it looks but yeah so just very excited to I love stitching the the fairies uh, the letters from Nora they're just amazing and what else what else what else what else oh of course duh I've been stitching on gypsy green um so if you don't know um, I'm doing like a kind of stitch and chat uh, mirabilia sal in my Facebook group it's Little Lion Stitchery's Stitchy Friends, and um, Amy from Allegro Stitches has been stitching with me, so I don't know. It's been really nice getting to know her, um, but usually I stitch on Mirabilia for that, but instead I decided to do the fairy just because I am so bad at stitching and talking, but especially because you have to count and it's like annoying. But this part right here, I just knew, you know, you, it's the same amount of stitches. So it was very easy to stitch and chat, like, going straight without having to count, necessarily. Um, so anyway, so this is Gypsy Queen, my pride and joy, Mirabilia that I've been working on. And I've been working on her arm right here. So it's getting there. I wanted to have it done, but it just didn't happen. <sighs> Cause I was so, I really wanted to finish, um, a well, so <clears throat> I didn't quite get as far as I wanted to with this, but yeah, I mean, I'm working on her arm. She has another arm. It's very exciting. And then soon I will get you the dress because with Mirabilia, it's all about the dress. I'm pretty happy. I think she's coming along. And like I said, I will finish this the end of the year. I have to keep saying it, otherwise I might get distracted and work on other things and it won't happen and then Mike will be right. And I can't allow it. <laughs> and last but not least, I have what is this? <laughs> Uh, Namaste by Ink Circles, and of course I wanted to have the black completed, I didn't quite get there, I just stitched, um, I think I stitched this side, and then pretty much everything on this half. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. Can't wait until I finish the black outline, because then I can start coloring it in. I don't know. That's a lot of fun to me. And that is this little section right here. So these are the chakras and I'm working on this. This is the crown of the head and that's the symbol I'm working on right now. So yes. And what else have I been working on this week? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Um, I've been working on a freebie that I think is going to be a lot of fun. So, I, without giving too much away, because it'll be posted on my website next week, so I'll go into more detail next week. But I came up with this idea. Um, so I want all my patterns, when I was talking about last week about my Capricorn, well, those aren't, I like doing um, projects with like a black outline, because then you can like, color it so it's perfect for stitch and chat type like get-togethers where 
if you finish the black outline, then you can just color in certain parts instead of having to always count. I don't know. I just think it's a fantastic idea <laughs> because I also like coloring. <laughs> so I've created a little freebie um, and I'm doing, I don't know if I'm going to do more than one for the season because I did sketch out a bunch of them, but I'm kind of obsessed with this particular one. And it's like a create your own or like a design your own. What did I say? I guess like a create your own a create your own type of pattern. So I don't know if this is going to make sense because I tried to explain it to my grand, my grandpa and he was just like, I have no clue what you're talking about, but he also doesn't know anything about cross stitch. So it's going to be, it's a very small pattern. Uh, it's like three by, it'll fit in a three by three hoop. Maybe I'll stitch it for next week too. I'll try and get that done because why not? So it's going to be a create your own and it's just going to be, like a black and I have several examples like um like drawn in a software but I might stitch up one because they're kind of really cute um but it's going to be um so it's gonna be black and white and you can like pick your own colors and whatever kind of patterns you want yeah, like, go free, but it's going to be, like, like I said, just, like, a black outline, you get to color it however you want, so I thought that would be a lot of fun. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments, because I'm very excited about this, because, I don't know, it just gives you, um, I guess the freedom to make it however you want, and if you're someone who, um, like, doesn't like, um, converting, like, either color converting or, um, or just like putting your own twist on things. If you're if you're not like sure how, I want to like encourage you to do so because I feel like making cross stitch your own is just it just makes it just elevates the patterns. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but I feel it just makes it your own and everyone's uh, unique and individual, and it makes the patterns so they're customized and tailored to you. So I'm very excited about. This. Um, yeah, but that's what I've been working on. I don't know. I'm very excited. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, I think that's it for this week. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you liked, if you like my videos. <laughs> and what else? Oh, yeah. And then just comment. What do you think about, um, my, my design idea? Like I said, next week you'll see it. So, I don't know, very excited. And, um, I don't know, I asked another question in the beginning of this video. I don't remember what it was, but I love reading comments. So, if you just feel like saying hi, just say hi. <laughs> and I will see you next week. Bye!